92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Ethan is on the phone today, and he sent us an email that said he went on the hottest date ever. Oh, so I'm assuming Hello, they nice. must have played Uno a little bit. I mean, Uno? that's hot. Like the card game? <laughs> yeah, for oh. sure. Wow. Ethan, okay. please tell me how much Uno you played. <laughs> oh, well, I'm taking notes right now. I don't think I played enough Uno, I guess. Oh, yeah, man. you should have played more. Maybe that's why you're not getting a call back. It's all about that wild card. Yeah. What's the name of the girl you want to call today? First name is Marissa. Marissa, okay. I, I don't care about her last name. <laughs> Where'd you guys meet? Marissa and I met at a club. It was me and a few of my guy friends, and okay. we kind of saw her with, like, a group of girlfriends, and I thought she was pretty hot, and mm-hmm. I asked my guys what they thought, and they thought I had no <laughs> no chance, but... Uh... <laughs> Do guys ever think that their friends have a chance? No. Like, has there ever been a case like, yeah, man, No, that, no she's never. perfect she's for you. She's way too hot for you. Yeah. <laughs> but it sounds like it worked out, though. Uh, it, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it didn't really work out. It's kind of why I emailed you guys. Uh, I guess point. you're right. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. meant, like, at least you got her number or something. Initially. <laughs> yeah. So how'd you start talking to her? Well, I approached her, and I was a little bit nervous because I'd already seen her shoot down a couple guys. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. So I kind of went in with that, and I said, hey, I know how you can keep these other creeps away. And she just kind of looked me up and down. She's like, how? And I said, next time a guy offers to buy you a drink, just say yes, and then point at me, and then say one for my boyfriend, too. That's a good idea. That's smart. Okay. You're also trying to get free drinks out of the deal, which I like. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and so she kind of laughed. I really left it that. I felt good about it. I walked away. And then she did it. Oh, she did? Yeah. And Whoa. we looked at each other, and it was like that kind of like secret joke across a room vibe. <laughs> I went back over. We laughed about it. And then so end of the night, we closed the club. I leaned over, and I whispered in her ear if she wanted to go back to my place. Mm-hmm. And she said yes. Okay, sounds creepy. Whoa. The whispering part sounds creepy. I mean. <laughs> loud and <laughs> <laughs> uh, But she said yes. I mean, that's a good sign. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Note taken again. Yeah, it was a good sign. So we, we went back to my house, and we went in, and she was very, very nice. She really liked my house. She gave me a lot of compliments about what I've done with the place. And It's always awesome to walk into a guy's place that you met at a club, and he's not sleeping on just a mattress on the floor. <laughs> With, like, some posters tacked up on the wall of women in bikinis. Like... <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I'm sure she was like, oh, my God. It's like I won the club guy lottery. It was great. I felt like I'd won the woman lottery. We were having a really good time. And so we go upstairs. I've got a couple cool rooms up there. And I start to play. I've got this beautiful baby grand piano. I play. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. you got a place place. Dang. Got place, I got a place place. Okay. And... She really digs the music, and she's kind of melting into it. And oh. I don't know what happened next, but we're making out on top of my piano. Wow. <laughs> that and, sounds so cool. And, oh, it sounds like a movie. <laughs> I know. Yeah. This is why I'm emailing. It was hot. It was perfect. And, and I still we- haven't heard anything about Uno, though. That's what's confusing yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> that could be where I fail. Is you're just not going to hear about it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so we're, we're making out for a bit, and then all of a sudden she's kind of like, I'm thirsty, and so I, I stop, and I go downstairs uh-huh. into the kitchen, and then I don't n- know what happened, but when I went back upstairs, she wasn't there. Wait, I thought what? we were playing hide-and-seek or something, so like I checked the closets and stuff, but she was like, <laughs> she's gone, and that is the last I've heard of. What? Wow, so she, she just like, ditched. She disappeared. Like jumped out a window? Like you didn't hear her go out the front door? There's actually like a couple different ways out of my place to big house, so I didn't notice it. Oh, Man, right. And you tried texting her and she just didn't respond to you at all? Yeah, no, text. You know, I didn't send like a barrage of text. I sent her one right away and then next day, maybe a few days later, one more yeah. and then kind of let it show. I didn't. And nothing. Nothing. What do you think could have happened? Maybe like my piano was out of tune. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that will yeah, it is turn that. anybody off, you know? It's always a deal breaker. <laughs> Unless you're talking about figuratively, because maybe that is an issue. Yeah, and I, looking back, I didn't have any Uno, so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's going to be my take on it, of but course. we'll I see. Just, I mean, it's pretty serious. If you're making out with a guy, he goes down to get you water, and then you just leave. Yeah. Like, that's more than I didn't have that great of a time. Yeah, like, cause a distraction. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't think you should be laughing, is what I'm saying. I think you said something very wrong. Yeah. I promise you, I did nothing wrong. We had a great night. I really do not know what happened. Uh-huh. We'll play a song and then come back and call her and get your second date update, okay? All right. All right, hold on. 
Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for today's second date update, Ethan is on the phone and Ethan has a fetish he hasn't told us about. What? Fetish? Something. Whoa! That's the only thing I can think of because I don't know how a dude that has an amazing house and plays piano doesn't get a call back. <laughs> Not even doesn't get a call back, but the girl just ditches in the middle of the date. Yeah. If you missed it, Ethan met this girl, Marissa, at the club. He took her back to his place, and I guess his place is a very nice house. He actually has a piano there, and he started playing the piano for her, and then they started, like, making out on the piano. Cool. Sounds like a movie. It does. And then she asked for some water, and he went to the kitchen, and then she snuck out, and he hasn't talked to her since. We're going to get her on the phone and see if we can find out why. All right, Ethan. Are you ready to go? Do you want to tell us about your fetish now, or you want to wait until she tells us? Uh, I'm waiting for Marissa. <laughs> All right. You know, we laugh, but I think Jubal's on to something. I think this is something serious that either you don't even realize about yeah. yourself that would freak other people out. There's got to be something for somebody to sneak out yeah, a back door. She had an escape route. Right. Like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know where she snuck out or if or how she snuck out. But I do know that whether it's a date or just a hookup again, I do need to see her. All right. Well, see if we can help you out. I'm going to dial her phone number right now, okay? Okay. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Maybe she's still in the house. It's a big house, you know? So check did. everywhere. She, she got lost, lost in the West Wing. You guys think I should check before I call her? No. I'd actually rather call her and then she'd be like, yeah, I'm in the closet. I'm in you know, I don't, closet. I don't know where I am. That'd be more entertaining. I'm going to dial her phone number right now, though. Okay, here we go. Hi, is this Marissa? Yeah. Hey, Marissa, how are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Excuse me, who's calling? Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Um, what's this regarding? Well, do you know about the radio show at all? Have you ever heard of it? Uh, what's the name of your show? Brook and Jubal <laughs> in the Morning. Brook and, Brooke and yeah. who? Jubal, that's me. Yeah. And it's a morning radio show. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing you never heard of it then. <laughs> yeah. I already asked. Okay, you answered that question for me. Not really, no. Sorry. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I'm calling you today, Marissa, because we actually got an email about you from somebody who does listen to the show. Okay. His name is Ethan. Wait, he contacted you? Mm-hmm. Why? Well, because we do a segment on our show. It's called The Second Date Update. So if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up blowing them off, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask what happened. And Ethan is confused because he told us about your first date and uh, how you guys met up and went back to his place. And then he told us that you just kind of like skipped out and he hasn't been able to get a hold of you. Yeah, that was a bad night for me. Really? really? It was a bad wow. night for you. Ethan described it as one of the hottest nights ever. Yeah. <laughs> he told you that? That's so embarrassing. Does he have a weird fetish? What's his weird fetish? What? No. We, oh, figured, damn. No, right. we just figured that he did something pretty serious to make you ditch out, leave, exit somewhere yeah. from the house without letting him know. I think anyone would have left if they were in my situation. Oh, we Whoa. knew it. Okay, so Why can you tell us what the situation was? I feel sort of weird telling you this, but it's this massive, like, 10-bedroom house, right? Yeah. Whoa, we knew it was big. I mean, big. he said it was big. Yeah. 10 bedrooms? That's like a mansion. Yeah. Um, yeah, we walked in. It's super fancy. I went to the bathroom. There's one of those, like, antique toilets where you, like, pull the chain from above. Oh, yeah. Oh. And so I was like, who can afford this? Like, what is up with this guy? Does he sell drugs? Does he... Does he sell drugs? <laughs> I think most people would first think it's, like, some trust fund kid. Or, like, but, or drug dealer. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Drug dealer with a fancy toilet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wasn't even sure. I was like, is he a Zuckerberg? Or... <laughs> yeah. Does that guy okay. have a brother? So his house was obviously very impressive. Yeah, it was insane. Okay, so, I bad? mean, that would be a positive for most people. Yeah, at that point, it was a positive. Okay. <laughs> so when did it become a negative? <laughs> the negative is when we were in the kitchen, he was making some food, and his parents walked in. Oh, oh. all right. So it's not really his place. No, it's their house. Oh, <laughs> okay. He didn't tell us that. Oh, so he still lives at home. Yeah. Huge home. And like, I expected them to be like, who's this girl in here? Like, what's going on? Yeah. But like, they acted like totally normal. Like, they weren't weirded out by me just like being in the kitchen. 
What? Well, he is an adult. I mean, it's not like you're, I mean, I hope I didn't ask. He's not 18, right? <laughs> no, but like they were acting overly friendly. Like they knew me. Like I was already part of the family. Whoa. They were like asking about vacations and like offered me some juice. Like, like just like friend, are they just super friendly, or you're, you're saying you think he has girls over all the time? Yeah, I don't know if he has girls over all the time, but like they were talking to me, like treating me like I was already some long term girlfriend or something. Weird. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a little strange, but I still don't like. Did that happen before or after the make out on the piano? It was before. Okay, so then you still made out with him on the piano. What made you leave? I mean, I was still buzzed from the club, okay. and like. So we went upstairs, and I just wanted to, like, get rid of some of that weird energy. So I, yeah, we hooked up on this piano. <laughs> That's a good way to get rid of the weird energy. Yeah, switch it up a little. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, his room was, like, the room of, like, a 13-year-old boy. There were sports posters everywhere. So it felt like you were, like, hanging out at a teenager's house. It was like I was hooking up with a 27-year-old teenager. <laughs> Yeah, right. but who hasn't done that? I mean, come oh, on. Come if on. you've dated in your 20s, 27-year-old teenagers are very common. But in their own parents' house? Well, Not you know. So like, I had to sneak through the hall- hallways to get out of there, like, hoping I wouldn't run into him or, like, his parents. <laughs> like, thank God I got out of there. <laughs> it's an awkward situation. You know what else is awkward, Marissa? Ethan is actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Seriously? He's on the phone? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ethan, you there? Hi, Marissa. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, hey. Um, Hi. You know, I want to tell you, my, my parents, they were happy to meet you. Oh, my gosh. Sounds like it. <laughs> Ethan, why didn't you tell her that you live with mom and dad before bringing her back to the house? Well, it's still my house. I, I mean, if you send no. mail to me, it goes to my name at that address. Yeah, no. <laughs> why didn't you tell us that it was your parents' house? Yeah. I don't see why that's important. You know, I, like, I, yeah, you know, I like the piano's mine pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I didn't think it was important to bring up to you guys because it really didn't have anything to do with the actual date. The date mm. went great. <laughs> like, it wasn't your house, and the date did not go great. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you still calling it a date? I mean, didn't you guys meet at a club, and it, it's more of a hookup? No, it was more of a mistake. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. They, you know, my parents liked you because I don't really bring a lot of a lot of women back. Then why were your parents acting so weird? They were acting like who who did they think that I was? Hmm. To be honest, I guess when they were traveling and wondering what I was doing, I may have told them that I had a girlfriend, and they probably thought that you were her. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So you were lying to me and your parents. Oh. Technically, yes, but don't tell my parents I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Marissa, don't rat him out to his parents. Don't get grounded, man. Oh. No, like, you were lying to both of us. Like, not only me, but also your parents. Like, Whoa, hold on. I don't know why you're freaking out right now, Marissa. You did not seem to be freaking out on top of the piano. <gasps> I don't know why you're bringing this up in front of everyone on the radio. Like, that was between you and me. And, your, and his parents. <laughs> you guys are just as bad as he is. Like, this is extremely childish. Oh, yeah, we're childish. I apologize for that. Yeah, we know that. Like, that is something we own. Hold on. You said childish? I'll have you know, Marissa, it's not a teenager's bedroom. I've been there since I was a child. It is a life room. A, a life room? room? I've never heard that, that before. Deep. Yeah, I've been there since I was two, and I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Don't get too upset. Hey, Marissa, would you like to go on a second date with Ethan? We'll pay for it. Well, here's the thing. Mar- Marissa, wait, wait, wait. Really... No, wait, wait, wait. Marissa, look, if you're willing to go on another date, honestly, I will talk to my parents about you maybe moving in. What? Whoa! How, how what? is that helping anything? <laughs> After two dates, too. I think you need to talk to your parents about you moving out. <laughs> of my own home? I don't think so. <laughs> what do you think, Marissa? Yeah, you know, one more <laughs> date with mean? Ethan and then the possibility of a brand new place to live. I mean, there's oh 10 God. bedrooms. Yeah. <laughs> How is he even asking me to move in right now? Like, what is going on? No? You sure? You know what? No, I'm good. I'm not trying to have any parent roommates. Marissa, great. If you want to keep dating losers that live in studio apartments that don't do their laundry, then you be my guest. (laughs) Wow, you're right. When you put it that way, I really have to think about the opportunity (laughs) of living with you and your parents. All right. Well, Marissa, thank you for your time. Ethan, I'm sorry. No second date, man. (laughs) I'm never calling you guys again. Uh, Throw a tantrum. Go to your room. Go to your room, Ethan.